Alan, opening day, Oshkosh 2016. Obviously, there's a lot of really interesting little pieces of news, but the big piece of news so far is a new variant on the eclipse. Tell us about Project Canada. Well, first, the, the really big news is that it's less humid today here at Oshkosh, and so everybody ought to get in their airplanes and fly to Oshkosh. It's, it's fantastic. It's, uh, it's, it's wonderful being here again. For us, yeah, Canada is the announcement, and Canada is a holding name. It's what we're calling it in between for the next derivative of the airplane, which is bigger wing, much longer range, bigger payload, faster at altitude with bigger engines. We're really excited about it. What does Canada bring above and beyond? If you can summarize the design changes and what is going to be the result for somebody who's willing to pony up three and a half million dollars for the latest, greatest, most as fastest. Yep, three and a half million dollars or a trade-in program that we've got in place. What does it get you? more flexibility. That's the really big difference. It either carries a much bigger payload, the current range, or a much longer range. 1400 nautical mile NBAA IFR 100 at max cruise. A really serious change in the flexibility of the airplane. When you're flying the airplane and they bring you down to lower altitude sooner or you have bigger headwinds or the temperatures change, it does affect the performance of turbofan airplanes and a big part of that is the, the range or the duration. So this just makes a whole bunch of those issues go away by being able to carry the extra fuel. Obviously what also comes with it is significantly higher climb rates on hot days and that just improves the efficiency because you get up faster, but it improves the fun factor as well, just because it's neat climbing at gigantic rates of climb. And then lastly, of course, when you've got the extra thrust, it'll go faster on hot days. So up at altitude, you won't see the speed fall off the way you do on lots of turbofan airplanes. So when we talk about max cruise, the number that, that we'll talk about will be sort of a all the way up to altitude number as opposed to a low 30s number that falls off uh, above that. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited about the performance improvement. And when will we see it? When will we see it? Um, it'll be about a year before we have a flying prototype and it'll, that will likely just go down the production line uh, with other 550s. It'll be a couple years until the airplane's certified. We don't promise dates and haven't for a very, very, very long time because there's too many uncertainties, all the different issues. Having said that, there's no uncertainty about the outcome. We feel very good about the process necessary to design, certify, and put into production what's now called Project Canada. It'll have a different name someday. And how much is the down payment? Yeah, $100,000 into an escrow account is what it takes to get on the list. Well, we look forward to seeing Canada or whatever you call it by the time it flies by. For more information down the line, how can people find out about the project as it goes forward? Yep, oneaviation.aero. Obviously, it'll be in the news, and our sales guys and engineers and everybody would love to talk to you more about the details, particularly here at Oshkosh. Come on up to the show. Alan, thank you so much. Thank you. Aero TV is brought to you by my heart was beating. I thought I was confident enough to make a safe flight. The visibility was all changing on me as I was progressing farther along in my flight. It was a wake up call. I know that climb and drive made me a better, safer pilot. 2020 is coming. Will you be ready? Whipair's ADS-B program takes the stress out of the mandate by allowing you to reserve shop capacity in 2016, 2017, or 2018. For more information, visit whipair.com slash ADS-B and fill out a short form to request three custom quotes. See what Whipair can do for your aircraft.